And, you know, the great thing is you have the video, you have the technology to support where you were. Back in my day, I had a journal, nothing, you know, people still do journals, but that's about it. We had still pictures. I have a box full of pictures from growing up. Um, I didn't have a digital, a digital, you know, um, I don't have a digital experience like everyone does. Like my son is 15. He's grown up with TikTok and Instagram. Yes. You know, you know pictures, that's all he knows. And so it's interesting that, you know, he has that, um, all of that information stored in the cloud <laughs> that yes. he has access to. The rest or of he can just type in his name. name. Huh? He can just, yeah, just type, type in his, his name, name and his stuff comes It'll come, up, come right on up. Yeah, yeah. There is a digital footprint that he now has for the rest of his life. And it's interesting because I think about if this is where we are now in 2023, where are we going to be 10 years from now? You know, how much more advanced will technology be? What else will we be doing? Like, it's scary. Think about it's it. very scary. I think we're going to go towards like digital currency, digital uh, passport. Mm -hmm. I think we're going in that direction. It's going to be, I think they're like programmers to be controlled. This smart word is more of like controlled, but I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to get into that. I don't think you two ready for that conversation. But uh, I'm going to just leave it service level. This smart technology and smart, I think smart is code word for um, controlled. But, um, there you go. So, yeah, I think that's the, the, the direction that we're going towards where they can kind of, they really can monitor everything that you can, that you're doing or where you're going. Because you notice the police officers, they could just sit on Twitter, Instagram, they have an account and they'll see your criminal activities. Just, they solve, mis they solve mysteries just by that. So, that's a craziness. Yeah, so, yeah. That, that's my big brother is always watching, people are now literally is always watching. I mean, think about it, DNA is coming so far. Um, people who are really on ancestry.com, putting their information. Now your, your saliva, your, your DNA is like stored in a database. I mean, that's how a lot of crimes are being solved now. So while we're thinking we're using this for, you know, personal reasons, I want to know where I came from. You know, your information is now available um, to talk. Not that you would think it's necessarily bad, that, that they would need it. But I'm just saying the that kind of technology and progression we've seen over the last 10, 15, 20 years, you are literally leading a DNA footprint of your life. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, anything that you put anything on Google, you are now not no longer anonymous. And it's interesting how the world do we get life all of us? Like how do we how do we communicate? We still communicate. Um, but yeah, the old school way, you know, we didn't have these phones available, which are basically mini computers. Um, it's, it's just interesting. So yeah, where are we gonna be, you know, years from now? How much more technology running the show, which it already I think for a long time. Already. Yeah, I think for a it long time. Lives, I know. And we're also just not being able to control our emotions. Because sitting behind this technology, like no one really shows emotion or even know how to communicate or just be socially like inclined to what's happening. You, you, you guys can't read body language or... It's just very, very weird. <laughs> yeah, it's I very think weird. Yeah, you, know, you have to, you know, the phones are off. You're putting myself in the house. You know, no phones on the table. You're talking. Because yeah. you have to be able to communicate and to not rely so much on these decimators and all of these you know, emotions and, and you know, the acronyms, like have a good conversation. And so that's really important for us as parents and um, just as people to continue to evolve real connection and communication. I think anything that COVID probably has done for a lot of people, it was to just reinforce the importance of real connection and how human connection, conversation, emotion, hugging, feeling, 
that will never replace the emoji. It will never replace a TikTok picture or video or dance. It will never replace what we need for human beings, which is connection and feeling. Socialization. And we make sure that my son, yeah, that he knows how to have a real conversation and not like, like, like it to, like, you know, all the, you know, <laughs> no, 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 we're not going crazy the way that my mom and dad were. Yeah, we're not doing all that. So you're, we're, we're going to take you back to the old school because the old school was always going to rock. The old school always works, you know, you can never replace that. 